Hi and welcome to the video. This one I just wanted to do a really quick video and just share a tip that I use on my A7 III all the time for astrophotography and it's called bright monitoring. Um, what it basically does is so that you can see the um, composition in front of you rather than having to like take a 30 second exposure or whatever it is to be able to see what's in front of you or go through the settings and crank the ISO right up high or drop the shutter really low. What you can do is just assign a custom button press this button and what it'll do is it'll drop the shutter as low as it can and it'll pump the ISO right to the top so that it just shows you everything that's in front of you. So you, obviously you've stood that in the night, it's pitch black, all you see is black on the back of your screen. I've just assigned it to my AEL button and uh, just press that and I can see everything in front of me. I use it all the time, not sure why I've not shared this any sooner. So what I'll do is I'll jump to the back of the camera and I'll show you how you do it. Right, let's jump into the menus and we're going to scroll all the way across to menu 8 of 9. And we're going to select a custom key. I'm going to do it against the photo custom key. And I'm going to select the AEL button, as I said. And then we're going to scroll, 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 scroll until we get to menu 18. And then we'll select the bright monitoring. Now that it's assigned, I can show you how it works. So a good point to make, this only works in manual focusing. I'm pissing around here trying to understand why it won't change and use, and use the setting. But it's because it won't work if the um, camera is in self timer and it won't work if it's in anything else other than manual focus. So make sure you change to those. But you will need manual focus when you're shooting the stars anyway. And then I'll just give you a really quick demonstration. Yeah, I'll set the ISO as the lowest it can, and then I'll hold down the button. There you go. So that's it for the video. Uh, I find it really useful, I use it all the time, so hopefully you will too. I think it works on pretty much all Sony cameras. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Take care.